guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be going over the Mutt Puzzle Solo Challenges. I uh, just completed the final one, which rewards you with this Josh Norman limited use. It's a really cool looking card. I really wish it was actually a card that we could get because I would I would get this Josh Norman card. because I, I like the background of these puzzle cards and I like the look of this Josh Norman card, but it's a limited use to 20 contracts i believe it works exactly the same yeah it works exactly the same as every other limited use uh it's got some pretty good stats 90 agility 88 speed 90 excel uh 91 awareness 83 catching uh, 85 jumping it's got some good juke and spin moves 83 pursuit 91 play rec uh 89 man 93 zone uh, 89 stamina, 80 spec catch, 89 press, uh, 67 hit power. So a nice card to use online for a, for what is that? 10 games that you can use this Josh Norman. So not half bad. But along with this, you get 10 solo challenges here, which give you, I believe, 16,000 coins, which is really nice. This last one uh, against the Broncos, it's it's probably the hardest solo challenge I've played so far. Uh, and it really kind of, what's it called? It really uh, highlights the issues that this game has with the fumbling and the issues sometimes with your players catching the football. Like sometimes you'll hit a player, he's wide open, and he just won't catch the ball. It happens a ton in this solo challenge. It also happens a ton that you fumble in the solo challenge. I had one game where... I was going in to score the game-winning touchdown, and Chris Harris punched the ball out of Charles Clay's arm as he went across the goal line. It was a fumble. Of course, Charles Clay just stood there like an idiot and watched Chris Harris pick the ball up, ending the game. Uh, there was another one where I ran the triple option, and I was running down the sideline to score, and I got tackled from behind by Von Miller, and I fumbled the football, and Von Miller and my guy just laid on the ground for like 30 seconds until someone else came and picked up the ball. And of course, the person that came and picked up the ball was on the Broncos. But all in all, they're not horrible. You also get uh, three free puzzle piece packs, which I have saved, that we will go ahead and rip open now. Mutt Puzzle Reward Packs. I assume these are just a puzzle piece. If they're not, I'd be extremely surprised. So that is puzzle number two, so that's the half pack, and that's piece number five that literally just has the background that looks stupid. Okay, so there's Matthew Stafford. That's worth nothing. We'll check the prices on these. There's a couple that are worth something. I know which Josh Gordon piece was worth a lot. Um, it's like the piece of his shoulder is worth like 50k. The odds that I pulled anything good, and after playing that solo challenge, I'll show you guys a little bit of updated team. Uh, Charles Clay has been demoted. He's not playing anymore. He can't catch. He can't carry the football after he catches. I swear he fumbled every time he caught the ball, if he even caught the ball. So he's been demoted between be, behind Antonio Gates and Martellus Bennett. I went out and bought Antonio Gates, and he's permanently benched. He can play back up fullback. I just, I couldn't deal with it. He just kept fumbling the football. And there's no tight ends, elite tight ends that I want or I would pay to buy one. But there just isn't any right now, so I'm not messing with it. All right, here we go. Let's check our puzzle pieces. I'm assuming they are worthless. Yes, this one is worth a whopping 750 coins. All right. Glad I played the solos for that. I know this Matthew Stafford one is worth nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hey, it's worth 7K. I pulled the decent Matthew Stafford collectible. If I wait until that one sells, I can get 8K for it. Yeah. And then the last piece, this doesn't look like one of the, val no, this isn't a valuable piece. So I got 550 coins. Yeah, let's go. So I got a total of about a thousand coins from the first and the third puzzle piece. And then we can maybe get, I'm just going to post it for like 6k. Hope for the best on this Matthew Stafford collectible. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you guys had any troubles with the, uh, with the, uh, 
other than the Broncos, I didn't think any of the solo challenges were too difficult. I didn't think they presented me any real trouble. Uh, also, if you guys need help at all with any of the Gauntlet solos, let me know. I'm more than willing to try to post a video to tell you guys what, what you may need to know to get them finished. Probably the biggest one is the Raiders, uh, the fumble recovery uh, on the on the drive. Uh, Texas uh, posted a video about it, and there is a better way to do it than what he showed. And so if you guys want to see that, let me know, and I'll throw up a video for you guys uh, about any of those solo challenges that you may need help with. Just let me know, and I'll get around, and I'll get a video together for you guys showing you how to do it. Uh, let me know if you guys know of any good tight ends that I should pick up. Um, I'm looking for a better one over Gates and Bennett. I really wanted one of them to be my backup. So let me know if you guys have any tight ends that have been playing really well for you. And I'll look into picking them up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.